Hello children, welcome to your science class. Let me introduce myself first. I am Peevi Meghna who will be taking your science classes from today. I hope you all have given your essay 1 test very well. From today, we will be starting your second semester of your sixth standard. The chapter which we are beginning today is Chapter 10 of your NCRT Science Textbook that is Motion and Measurement of Distances. Let us get into the chapter. Children, before we get into the chapter, let us think for a while about how do we often move from one place to another how do people shift their goods from one city to another city? How do you usually come to school? Can you ride a bicycle on, a water, on water? Does a ship move on road? Why do aeroplanes only fly but cannot move on rail tracks? If you ever had got these doubts, it means you are interested in learning new things. After learning this chapter, let all these doubts get cleared. Clearly observe these images. You all might have at least once travelled on these transport modes or you may travel in the future. So, here we see a bicycle, car, bus, train, aeroplane and a boat. What are these? These are the different means of transport that helps us to travel from one place to another. Let us learn an amazing fact. Did you know small wheeled vehicles usually called rovers, moved on the soil of Mars. You know Mars is another planet like Earth and these small wheeled vehicles are taken by huge spacecraft like rockets from Earth to conduct experiments on Mars. It's great, no? Yes. To understand these great inventions, first we will learn what is the story of transport. During the ancient times, means long long ago, there were no means of transport. All the people used to move by, on their foot. They used to carry goods on their back and shoulders. Later on, the human activity expanded. They discovered the fact that few animals can be used for transportation purpose and from then on, people began to use animals for transportation. Children, do you know which means of transport was first invented? Though the animals helped the humans for transportation on land, people found it difficult to transport goods from land to another land area through water. Because animals cannot move through water, right? So, that is when man invented the boat for transportation through waterways. Did you know how boats were constructed initially? Man first gathered simple logs of wood in which hollow cavity can be made. Later on, people put 
together these different pieces of wood to give the boat a proper shape which is similar to the animals living in water like a fish which has a streamlined body for a convenient for the convenient movement of of these transport modes in the water in these images you can observe how boats have been constructed initially by using light logs of wood or sacks of dried grass coming to the invention of wheel you know children if the invention of wheel was not done there will be no scope for other discoveries and inventions invention of wheel is a huge success in the modes of transportation and the design of wheel was improved over thousands of years as you can see in the image animals which were used to carry goods on their backs were later used to pull carts that moved on wheels to the invention of wheel was done several thousands years bc its modernization was not done till 19th century people depended on animals and boats until then to transport from one place to another human knowledge traveled beyond boundaries from 19th century man started rapid exploration and several inventions were made one of which was the invention of the steam engine it led to the development of new means of transport the railroads means the trains that had uh, carriages and wagons the automobiles like motor cars trucks buses etc the motorized ships boats etc etc have been invented with the invention of steam engine after the invention of steam engine in the recent days that is in the early 1900s aeroplanes have been invented which made traveling more convenient from any part of the world to longer distances the most recent discoveries and the highly Uh, using the high technologies are the electric trains monorails supersonic aeroplanes and spacecrafts these are the modern vehicles you can see their images here the first one is the supersonic aeroplane and next is the electric train and next is the spacecraft children mostly every day will learn uh, will be learning the concepts by doing an activity related to the chapter so today what you will do is here is one question let us read it given here are some of the modes of transport here you can see the images identify them and place them in correct order starting from the earliest modes of transport to the most recent just now we have learned what the story of the, the story of transport the their inventions by man so you will be listing all these modes of transport in the correct order starting from their earliest inventions to the most recent so that is one of your activities for today and the next question is are there any of the early modes of transport 
that are not in use today you if yes you have to list them think about them if you might have some knowledge and you can ask your parents and you can list them that what are the modes of transport that used to be there in the ancient days and which have been not being used in the recent days so these are the two activities for what we have learned today along with these activities children you will also have to do the worksheets for the today's lesson we'll continue the chapter in the next class children thank you